Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, I'm still working on this deck and I've played two games with it already uh, as you guys can see uh, But I'm still trying out this deck. It seems like a really cool thing to uh, do and uh, I'm still testing out this deck So uh, this isn't like a final version. So uh, keep that in mind But yeah, let me just show you this deck and I'll tell you like my idea and I'm still working on it So if you have any suggestions, let me know, but uh, let's get go ahead and get started. So uh, we're running BLS, Gores, uh, Honest, uh, 3, Tour Guides, and Sangan. Uh, those are the uh, like non-dragon, non-light non sworn monsters. And then we're running Charge Light Brigade, Future Fusion, Gold Sark, Heavy Storm, uh, Reborn, Monster Reincarnation, Pot of Avarice, uh, two Duality, three Solar Recharges, um, one Celestia, one Aaron, one Garoth, two Lumina, two Lila, three Raikou, one Jane, one Wolf, three Interplanetary Purpley Thorny Dragons. That card is amazingly difficult to say. And then uh, three Judgment Dragons, uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, Light Pulsar Dragon, and Dragoneth Light Sworn Dragon. Okay, so this deck, it obviously just needs, it needs some work, and uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know. But uh, basically, here's the idea of the deck. So it's basically, you feature fusion, you send Dragoneth, and um, whatever you really need to. Uh, most likely, you can send Interplanetary Purple Thorn Dragons, or you can send Judgment Dragon if you have some play with it. Uh, perhaps you want a uh, Monster Incarnation for it. You know, that's uh, one way. But yeah, uh, my idea was just to uh, incorporate Future Fusion in it, because uh, um, the thing is, like, if your Judgment Dragon gets, like, Fiendish Chained, you can just activate, uh, you know, um, the effect to Special Summon Red Eyes Darkest Battle by removing from play a face-up dragon, which in that case would be a Judgment Dragon. Um, the only dragons that you're going to be really uh, removing to get the, this guy out pretty much are going to be, like, Dragoneth, which rarely will ever come out, because this card is... Kind of difficult, and it, you know, I was like, whatever, it's another Light Sworn name, it's a dragon I can send with Future Fusion. I mean, it's a free Light Sworn name, and you know, in the off chance that I do summon it, he does happen to have okay attack once there's uh, multiple Light Sworns in the graveyard. And he also has Piercing, which is nice, and he has Mill. Uh, but I mean, I was thinking about putting like maybe Call of the Haunted in here because Call of the Haunted also gets back Red's Darkest Metal, and I can just get back like Dragoneth, which can get, you know, Piercing damage, plus, you know, it is another Light Sworn and it mills. And so it's like not a bad option because, uh, as you guys know, dragons have a hard time dealing with like Spirit Reaper and like Marshmallow, and they can't get over it. But if you can just like pierce them, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, and the idea with Light Pulsar was just summon Light Pulsar. Um, well, Special Summon Judgment Dragon first, blow up the field and make sure everything's okay. And then you summon Light Pulsar, and then you can just blow up the field again. Or you can summon Light Pulsar, then Special Judgment Dragon, then blow up the field. Uh, whatever you decide, it doesn't matter. But then you get out Red Eyes Darkest Metal. Red Eyes Darkest Metal then gets out Light Pulsar. So that was my kind of idea of the deck, is just to be able to go Judgment Dragon, get this out, and you basically win. Because you can just Special Summon another card, and all these cards have really high attack. And another cool play was, um, if you can Dungeon Dragon blow up the field, you can go Lumina, Special Summon another Lumina. That Lumina, you can Special Summon another card, which you guys have seen, like, I believe it was the second duel. And then you can make uh, this guy over here, which is also why I run Tour Guide. Tour Guide allows me access for that as well. Uh, I can just make uh, number 17, Leviathan Dragon, and he is a dragon, so I can just remove him for Red Darkness Metal. Um, and, you know, there's, you know, probably some other cards I could be running in here to make this deck better. Um, you can maybe take out Pot of Avarice, but I feel like you can just go Future Fusion and then Avarice, like, oh, I love that play. I still think it's good. I mean, if you could just go Future Fusion and then just put all the cards back, because, you know, it's still a plus, because you can still get out this huge beater that's 5,000, which nothing can really get over, uh, but, you know, MSC does kind of hurt him, <laughs> which is unfortunate, because uh, Future Fusion is equipped to him. But, yeah, um, I think that this deck uh, could have some potential um, to see some play. Uh, I think that it needs some tweaking, definitely. And I really do like this card, Interplanetary Purpley Thorny Dragon. Uh, but keep in mind that you do miss timing, like on Sangan, you can't special summon during Sangan. Because uh, you can special summon him, and Sangan's effect is mandatory, so you miss the timing. Uh, but yeah, this card is pretty good because everything in Light Sworn is relatively weak, minus like Judgment Dragon. So like, let's say you summon Lila or you know Lumina or Aaron, you just get the mill in, and then they attack into you with like a big monster, and then you just drop this, and you know, 2200's okay attack, and you know, you can just get over something, and let's say you have to mill something with, um, you know, your Lumina or your Lila, whatever you milled, like, if you milled, you know, Light Pulsar and you get out, uh, Red Darkest Metal by removing from play the Interplanetary Purpley Thorny Dragon, you can just get back that Light Pulsar, and then you have a really good setup, and I feel like how dragons play is, as long as you have this little combo right here, which is Red Eyes plus the Light Pulsar, like, that combo is just so good, it just, it loops itself, 
and that lets you stall kind of in Light's Horn until you get your bigger play. And it's not just like a stall where you're like sitting on a Spirit Reaper. You can play aggressively because if you know the Mirror Forge Torrential, you don't have to worry about it because you can just get back uh, Ray's Darkness Metal from Light Pulsar's effect, and then you get back Light Pulsar, and it just as you guys know the uh, common loop. But yeah, uh, so this has been my deck profile that I'm still working on. It's not like anything completed. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the deck, and if there's any suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. But thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.